Um, yeah, I mean, today went uh, smoother than the last days. We had a small uh, problem with the tire, lost some air, so we had to stop and uh, get some more air in, which cost us maybe like 40 seconds, 30 seconds or something. But I think the others in the front were st still pushing hard, so it was quite hard for us to come back. And then in the end, we still had the legs to fight for the win. It was a bit, uh, yeah, not so nice from Specialized to block us in the, in the downhill. And like, uh, yeah, Blevins uh, blocked us a bit and because he's super strong in the sprint and uh, Matt Pierce went a bit away, so it was like safe that they can win uh, the sprint anyway. So um, yeah, we tried, but uh, there was no chance against Blevins in the, on the last few meters. Do you yeah. expect the pace to stay this high all the way to the finale? Uh, yeah, as you said, after half the race, it's pretty clear who are the best guys in the, in the bunch. Um, yeah, by, by now everyone knows that uh, the top teams are probably Pirelli, Scott, Specialized and us. So uh, we we the ones dictating the, the pace for the, the upcoming days. And I'll, I'm pretty confident that the, the pace is going to stay that high. Yeah. You guys are always at or near the front. Is this very much your tactic? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, of course, it's it's also demanding uh, for us, is fighting the positions all the time. But it comes with the benefit of uh, having the security of being in, in the front in the trail. So if the other one's making a mistake, it's it's usually behind us. Or or if we do one, um, the other ones have to wait. So um, we're not depending on on the other ones. And the yeah. I don't know how, how you call it, but um, the effect of uh, slowing down and, and accelerating after the corners again. Like a yo-yo. Yeah, the yo-yo effect after the, the turns are not uh, not quite as um, yeah uh, tough on us. How important is tomorrow's TT? Well, um, it's it says it's a TT, but 47 Ks. It's um, I think it's it's pretty long. It's going to be close to maybe one and a half to two hours. So it's going to be a proper stage, proper suffer fest. Uh, it's all about keeping uh, the normalized power uh, high over the whole the whole course. So yeah, the tactic tomorrow is don't don't go too fast in the beginning. Just keep a steady pace, the highest pace possible over over the period of time. You've done one and a half k epics right now. Is this the toughest bike race you guys have ever done, and why? <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, alone the length of the stages and. The whole race uh, is super tough. I'm getting, I'm getting cramps on my back right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um, and also like the surface and everything, the trails are hard. So for sure, it's like uh, you have to be a complete mom like to compete in here and to be in the front, and also like to stay safe and uh, let the whole bike in, in one piece. It's also like a big challenge here, and um, so overall, it's super hard, super tough, and we're happy with our performance here yet, and yeah, hope it goes like that. Have you made any changes to the bike since the opening stage? No, not really. Um, we are more or less like the rims and the tires are the same like last year because we had nearly no problem with that. So um, we stayed on that and we got the new Orbea Oils. So um, that's quite a change, but I think uh, it's a good one or a good change. It's a bit more smooth on the trace and um, yeah, feels good. You do know that Leeds has a crash test lab and you guys don't actually have to crash the helmets here to test them? You do know that, right? Yeah, yeah um, we do the field testing, but uh, I'm pretty confident that the guys at Leeds did all the, their due diligence to, to create a, a safe helmet and I heard that they are the, the safest in the class and the, the standards are pretty high when it comes to safety at Leeds. And I'm excited to actually see the lab on Monday because we have a little appointment there in the in the office. And uh, any niggles after the crash? Are you guys completely fine? No. No, we're fine. I mean, I crashed. You didn't crash at all. No, I, I didn't crash. Maybe we got some scratches, but mostly yeah. on our ego. But uh, <laughs> uh, besides that, there's nothing. Nothing we got hurt. Okay. Last question. I understand your DMs on Instagram look like a Christmas tree. Are you reading all the messages you're getting from your fans? Yeah, we try to read the most, uh, but. Um, Sometimes we are too too tired to, to answer everything, but um, yeah, we try to stay in contact with our fans as good as possible. Okay, all good. Uh, happy birthday and good luck for yeah. the last four days. Thank you. Good luck, Lucas. Thank you.